talk a little bit about programming a boring profile or an ID turning profile. It's really no different than turning an OD turning profile. The only difference is we are now going to typically start at a larger diameter in the front of the part, get smaller as we go towards the chuck. One thing that is very important to think about when you're um, programming inside the part, you're very, you have a lot of restricted space due to <clears throat> the fact that you're on the inside and if you pull off too far, for example, when you get to the end of your bore, if you pull too far away towards the center of the part and you have a very large diameter boring bar, there's an opportunity for a collision with the backside of the hole. So when, when we're programming inside the part, we have to be very careful of our approach clearance and retract clearance. You see that both of those are highlighted here in this slide. And I usually back those down to 20 thousandths or so. <clears throat> I can increase those if I want to later on, but basically I want to um, keep that tool as close to the profiled cut that I can, only pull off what is absolutely necessary. Again, all the other settings in this block are the same. It's just a profile. It just so happens you're starting larger, getting smaller as you describe the shape of the profile. Next, we talk about the tool setup. Again, tool setup is no different. The only thing that we really have to be concerned with here is that we're going to select a boring tool as the type of tool. We still set the depth of cut, the maximum or the uh, tip radius. Everything else is the same as well, except for the orientation. Notice under tool offsets there on the screen, you see the orientation is pointing up and to the left just like the image that we're seeing there for the tool itself. So again, we're going to, when programming an ID profile, we want to follow the same rules as we did before with our rapid start. Program the profile from the larger diameter towards the face of the part, getting smaller as we go back. We want to control that uh, the approach and Retract distances, we want to reduce those from the hundred thousandths that are typically the default to a smaller value like twenty thousandths. And then we want to, we want to uh, when we set up our tool, select that it is a boring tool and make sure that our orientation is what it needs to be to, um, to allow cutter comp to work correctly.